Oh. So growing up in the South, I feel like I never saw like other Asians rarely. I think in my high school, it was just me and then one other half Asian girl. That was it. I was the token Asian girl, so everyone identified me as the Asian. They never saw me as Kelly, like girl who likes art or other things that could have identified me more than my race. I felt like I was bound to that and that made me rebel and try to be more expressive in my art. So I guess that did help in a way in making me become more bold in trying to say who I was. Yeah, so if I wasn't growing up in the South, I'd, I think my art would be very, very different. After I started making these angry Asian girls who were <laughs> really like violent, carrying guns with um, really calm faces, I finally thought, why am I doing this? And then I realized, oh, this is probably a reflection of myself, like a lot of it. I give them calm faces because I feel like um, our generation is kind of jaded in a way. So it's really hard to shock us or surprise us because we see everything on the internet, social media, TV. But there is so much that we have to see and filter through every day. It's just hard. That's why I give them those serene faces. Hey. Growing up, my mom definitely pushed me to become more American to fit in so I wouldn't feel so left out. It's been a balance my whole life trying to figure out which identity I am. I definitely have struggled with trying to fit in. I would try to deny my Vietnamese parts. I was really ashamed of my culture. I really tried hard to be the typical American girl. So you don't think that's good. Cut me a red medium. I've regretted all those times. Well, they're 48 by like, yeah, 48 by like, 20, 24? 24. So like long yeah. I was ashamed of being who I was, and now I'm trying to embrace it. The less absorbent it will be. Yeah. So if you get this and do two coats on each, you should be good. Clear gesso? Okay. Yeah. If you want the wood grain on I would get bullied often just for like stupid comments like, oh, your eyes are small, like how can you see? Like because I was so shy, I let people do that to me. I don't know, you fit in or you just suffer. <laughs> and fight through it. <laughs> People are so stuck in their old ways and it's easy to get sucked into that vortex of trying to fit in. It made me grow some guts, I think, <laughs> to fight back. <laughs>